Hey, so you're looking to add some new fonts to your computer so you can use them for different projects and you don't know where to start. Well, the best thing to do is to just Google free fonts and you're going to find a lot of different options in terms of websites that you can go through and find fonts from. Now, there are a lot of free ones. I would say there's more than a free ones that you shouldn't have to purchase any, but there are, of course, fonts available for purchase as well. But they're typically pretty pricey between 10 and 30 dollars so it's up to you if you think that's worth your time to purchase but personally again i don't buy fonts whatever fonts i need i find them for free among these many free sites so one of the sites is called 1001 free fonts and that was just the first results and the way these sites work is typically you can filter through so for example you want medieval fonts there you go, you have your options, or you want fire fonts. There you go, you have that as well. And it's pretty similar across any site that you'd go to, and you can just check it out like that. Same thing here, and so on and so forth. Now let's say you find a font that you like. Let's say we like that one. And then we just click download, it's gonna download on our computer. And once it's actually downloaded, it's going to be in a zip almost every single time. In zips, you can just double click and it will open that file for you. Then once it's open, you're going to see the fonts like this, depending on how many there are. And these different types, so you see Lado, the name of the font, dash, and then something. In this case, it's black, black italic, bold, bold italic. And it's up to you if you want to install all of them. That is just different types of the fonts. For example, if you have Word open or Google Docs, you can apply bold, italics, etc. to the fonts. And this is exactly the same thing. It's just separate files for it. Then you just double click on the file and this is gonna pop up and it's gonna show the different styles for the font at different sizes. Then you just click install and it's gonna install for you. And then that'll be it. If we have Photoshop open, you don't even need to refresh it. If you have Word or anything else, don't need to worry about it. If you're using Photopia, make sure to keep these TTF files on your computer in a folder, maybe your Photoshop folder or your editing folder. Because with Photopia, you have to upload it. I'm not sure if every time or it remembers you, but it's a good practice if you're not using Photoshop or another software that you download, just to keep these in a folder so you can easily access them again in the future. And yeah, it's as simple as that. I hope you found this video useful and have an awesome day.